Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. I hope you all are having a, a blessed Monday. Rainy and dreary here, kind of a nasty day. We've had some nice sunny days, and I didn't get to get out like I wanted to. Yeah, we're coming along on a, a sad, well, we just reached a sad uh, milestone. Um, it was the death of Albert's sister a year ago, yesterday. Um, on that date, uh, his sister passed and Albert had to move in with his mom to take care of her. And it's affected a number of households. I know Albert's mom. She uh, she kind of expects Albert to be Misty, his sister. And, uh, you know, he's a different person. Completely. But he still has a bit of her temper, I'll tell you. Misty could have a temper on her. and Not without good cause. She's the type of person that didn't hold anything back. Anything that when she felt something was right, she told it like it was. And it was uh, something that was normally needed to be said. Because you see, Albert's mom's 91. Before Misty would get on all of her siblings, you know, to uh, guilt trip them into coming by. And now, Albert doesn't even try. He, he's, he's just given up. And his mom cries because his other siblings, you know, about the only time they ever come by is when they want something. And that's about the time that he she sees most any of them. She has one that comes around now regularly, but uh, all he wants to do is clean out her refrigerator. He comes there. He goes straight for the refrigerator. And that's pretty well where he stays. Unless he's, he plans on just popping it on her that he's spending the night. He has a good job. He makes good money. But he can't manage to keep a roof over his head. And everyone pretty well knows why. It's just a fondness for uh, an illegal addictive substance. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Without saying more. So yeah, she cries. And she'll tell Albert she knows that... Uh, you know, they can't be bothered with her. And uh, it's pretty apparent, yeah. When his sister first died, they made an attempt to come around for maybe a month. But then after that, Albert's rarely seen them. And occasionally they do come around for dinners, maybe once a month or... Once every couple months, it just depends. But Albert's never there because, uh, like I said, he has a temper. And he's at the point of telling people just what he thinks of them. <laughs> so he kind of avoids family dinners because uh, he's afraid he might start speaking a few truths. And uh, kind of ruin the occasion, so he just avoids it. And lets his mom enjoy it while she can. Anyway, I want to thank everyone uh, who showed up for the premiere last night. And as you can see by the banner down below, in the contest I held, well, to be honest, Thomas uh, left that logo. But said he didn't really want to be entered into the contest. He said, let someone else win. But uh, unfortunately, no one else entered the contest. So uh, 
And Thomas did make a beautiful one. I love it. And so he ended up winning in anyway. <laughs> and in all fairness, it was a, a quick notice. I kind of mentioned it earlier in the week a couple times. But, uh, yeah, it, it was a, a quick notice once I did figure out what day. Oh, geez. I can't. <laughs> These cards. Ah, uh, geez. Oh, and this one just popped out. Anyway, you all have the King of Swords, but it's reversed. The element is air. The astrological association of this card is Capricorn and Aquarius. The chakras are the crown and third eye for openness and intuition. And the key meaning is an ambitious man. But in this case, that ambitious man is probably selfish, domineering, and dangerous. When reversed, the influence of the usually balanced King of Swords can be destructive. You may be put under unreasonable pressure to produce results. Unfortunately, there's no room for arguments or personal interpretations, so you may feel oppressed. Thankfully, this is a temporary situation. As a person, you may be dealing with someone who plays mind games and who will do almost anything to win. Now, I like how the runes have been going. So, uh, let me pull a rune to go with that. Here, I got one right here. And this rune is Awaz, and it uh, it represents the color red, which is just what you might be seeing when you have to deal with uh, this person. It reminds us that in order for success, there must be a natural flow in the task at hand. With this rune to give us power as well as to make use of our good intentions, we can surely achieve such success. Now, the meaning of this is horse. And this could mean a movement of a dwelling place, such as a relocation of home or even work. It signifies change, but for a change for the better. The type of change that is the result of planning and effort, perhaps of a gradual nature. AWAS can point to common sense advice that will aid you in troubles. So when it comes to dealing with this person, it looks like uh, it's suggesting uh, use your common sense. Don't let this person make you lose control. And it's like you need to try to take control over this situation, over this dealing with this person. And you have to fight whatever this person is doing. Because it can't be all that he insists goes his way. There has to be a natural flow of things. Not someone standing there dictating everything going on. Alright, I hope that made some sense for you all. So there you have it. Now, if, back to that video, if you happen to watch it, I'll tell you, in the beginning, it's all about a bit of a flashback. Just for the first so many minutes of it, it does a brief flashback from our tunnel video. The parts that uh, 
kind of lead in to this next video which is in that video it just it's just a progression starting with what we'd already filmed not not the whole video it's not the whole video it's just little bits and pieces of it and well that's all i have for today i'm running a bit late so uh until tomorrow you all have a blessed monday peace believe because the spirits are out there and until tomorrow bye bye